Hello everyone. Today I'll be going over the Z image workflow I built that upscales your images without adding or removing parts of your image so it stays exactly the same as the original photo. If you want this exact workflow, you can download it from my Patreon that is linked below. If not, watch this video and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step yourself. My workflow has four main parts. The first one is upscaling your photo realistic images. The second one is for your anime. Your third one is if you already have a generated image and you don't want to go through this entire process, you can just load it in here and it'll upscale it. I also have a workflow where if you have a library or folder full of images you want to upscale, instead of doing them one by one, you can just link your local file path and upload all the images inside that folder. I also have a note on the side that shows you all the required models to download, plus any upscaler ones you want to. We'll be using this workflow today and their file paths. I'm going to turn these all off while we build our own. This is your standard Z image workflow. If you don't know how to use it already, you can watch one of my previous videos that go that goes in depth on how to use it. But right now, for the upscaling, we just need to focus on this last section between the VAE decode node and the save image node. We don't need the save image node right now, so we can delete it. Now we need to load two additional nodes. So just type in upscale. Load upscale model, select that. You want to drag out from this node and select upscale image using model. Connect your VAE decode node. From here, you can click preview image or save image and you'll be done. But for this video, I want to use a image converter from RG3. And this is just so we can see the differences. Now that we have the workflow built completely, we need to go back to the load upscale model, select which one we're using. I'm going to be creating a photorealistic image, so I'm using the 4X Plus. And then you enter all your information like you would normally. I'm going to be using a LoRa, so I want to disable this by clicking Control B to bypass it. And you select Run. Now that we've got the image generated, let's zoom in to check off the quality. As I scan from left to right, you're going to be able to notice that it's not regenerating the images. It stays the same. Also, the shine in the metal, the reflection on her nose and lips, as, may, as well as her eye quality. Increase and in maintaining her eye color and her hair color. See how it sharpens the edge? as well as the marks on the blade. So that was your photorealistic example. Now we're going to switch to anime simply by selecting the 4X Plus Anime 6 Billion Parameter version. I'm not selected and hit run. Z Image Turbo already creates a pretty good anime picture. The upscaler helps with the line art, it removes a lot of the denoise that's in the image. It also cleans the edges of the lines so they're more crisp and clear. See the edge of the blade, that line? Now you're ready to start upscaling all of your images. Remember, if you want my workflow, you can download it on my Patreon. And once you join the Patreon, you also have access to the private Discord, where everyone in the community tries to help each other out. Please like and subscribe as it helps my channel out, and comment below anything you would like to see in the future, or if you just need help with anything.